Testing mic, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh. Check everything's all right. Welcome. Smart investment. Thanks. Alerts are on. Good. Should add a uh, alert box, really. Oh, you're having an interview today? Hey, cat. Well, don't feel too bad. All right. You go to that interview and you uh, and you show them who's boss, and you crack their toes if they don't give you the job. You understand? You go right in there and you rip them off if you got to. Just go right under there. I almost launched the wrong game. That's fucking dumb. I have to bike there so you'll keep me company. <laughs> oh, fuck. You have unlimited data? I hope you don't, like, crash into something, dude. Be careful on the road. I'm drinking this... I don't know what the fuck this is. It's a. Uh, ever heard of this brand? Bulletproof. It's like naturally like it's natural lemon fat water with twenty calories. It has brain octane oil, B vitamins, and pure deionized water shaken and. That's that's uh. That's that, that's that was mistake number one right there. I didn't shake it. Hopefully this, uh, this, the help of this water doesn't turn me too stupid throughout. Like, uh, it's got like a, it's like, I have no, like, I'm pretty sure this is a scam. Like, this is not, because there's no way, like, um, it's got like 20 calories, all this shit in it, and it's somehow vegan. Mental refreshment! You don't need sugar to get energy. An alternative fuel for your body is the unique high-energy brain hoisting... Hey, pff, see, I'm already going stupid. Brain-boosting fat and bulletproof brain-octane oil. Extracted from the most potent part of the coconut brain, octane oil puts your brain on full blast without weighing it down. Fat water is pure deionized water mixed with micro droplets of brain octane oil, B vitamins, and natural sweeteners with a hydrating energy boost without the stimulants of sugar. And what the fuck is there a fucking like? Is there literally a fucking expiration date for this water? Best used by July 9th of 2018. It's the 11th. I am... I... I am drinking expired water. I never thought I'd say that. I'm drinking expired water. I, I, I can't believe I, I drank, I'm drinking expired water. I say drinking because I'm not a quitter. It's fucking water. I don't understand this at all. Hey, Ulysses, how's it going? 
it's never Orge? Did you mean it's never Ogre? It's never Ogre, right. You got that right. So, um, on today's agenda right now, we are going to uh, be playing Night in the Woods. And if I have some time afterwards, I'm going to hop on Starbound because... Uh, I've been playing a lot of Starbound recently. Like, I, I, I would say, actually, I played a lot of Starbound last night, and I'm in the middle of making a whole bunch of just shit for it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why... Why does water expire? I don't understand this. How can it expire? And someone explain to me how water expires. It's the bottle. So wait, shouldn't every like Poland spring bottle then like have its own expiration date at that point? Or is that like a special plastic or something like that that doesn't require any like expiration on it? I look like a gremlin right now. Just, just take a look at my take a good look at me in like my chair right here. Like a, a hunched over gremlin trying to peer over at the screen right here. I'm like a less attractive Danny DeVito right here. I need the it's the trash. It's in my genetic code. I don't even I don't even know I don't even I don't even know what I'm referencing right there. Well, the rest of the stream is available to watch. I forgot how to interact with things. That's how dumb I am. I'm slowly becoming stupid. I am literally becoming stupid. Like, how is it possible? That, how is it possible, guys, that I'm getting more dumb, like, the more, like, time I'm online? Hey, let me know when you went to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, Bank. Thanks, B. Don't think me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's, like, right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case... You are so incredibly welcome, and also, better not forget this big fa favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but they did... Had big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like, oh, central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and someone puts in a pool where you died or something? Haunted pools would be actually, would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, May. Let me know when you go, want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight shot. I up from the possum jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. I need to get the genetic code. Ocelot. Ima like, imagine, okay, first, because of that, Imagine Danny DeVito as fucking Solid Snake. It, he doesn't need to be Wolverine. He needs to be Solid Snake for the Solid Snake for the fucking Metal Gear Solid film. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips at God. <laughs> Aim does a good Dre job and put you in the character's perspective. You can't live in bed, May. Could play some bass, but which song? Bass Dragon. Die Anywhere Else. Weird Autumn. Tick Tock. What's Tick Tock? That terrible charity Barity song told me about. Punched up the lyrics a bit with Greg back in school. Let's see if I can remember all the words. 
I'm gonna attempt the shit. Two, 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 four, two, one. Still, hands are still stupid. Two, two, three, two, three, four, 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 one, 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 two, three, four, four, three, four, three, two, four, four, five, fuck, 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 fuck. How am I so bad at this? I just remembered how bad I am at this shit. Why did I think two was three? I think I'm finally getting the hang of this. I can't re I'm not reading chat right now because I'm really trying to focus here. Damn it! See, I'm already losing focus because I'm trying to talk right now at the same time. Shit! No! Fuck! I literally do not know this song. The game does a great job. Yeah. The big picture gets really distracted while playing. What big picture? Alright, let's go through it now. Yeah, shit, this again. Oh, shit. This is trippy right here. Some fishy booze here. Alright, so we gotta go there. Is this an allegory for growing up? Oof, there he goes. Alright, so I need the... I need the, uh... So we got three right now. We need to get four. One of the themes of this game is destruction of all America. Hmm. Interesting. One of the themes of this game is the destruction of Little America. Okay. 
and growing up. How am I somewhat adequate at pretty much everything? But when it comes to rhythm games, I'm like I had vanilla ice. Hey, I'm like the I'm like a freaking No, even vanilla ice had rhythm. I'm like a and like one of those like Chinese knockoff vanilla ice nice like impersonators. Wait, would they have? Wait, would the impersonator actually like have more or less rhythm than like Vanilla Ice? What what does how does Vanilla Ice like rank on like the rhythm meter? On like the rhythm scale, I should say. Vanilla Ice stole rhythm. Oh, because he was because he was ice cold. That guy was ice cold. That's why he was cold blooded. <laughs> I like how I just drop. All right, so let's uh, go here. Um, I need another lantern to tell me where to go. Actually, no, I don't think I need another lantern to tell me where to go. It's a good thing that this game doesn't have deaths, because otherwise I'd probably just die a whole bunch. Is this webcam placement good, by the way? Because I got like a... I have a couple others, like, placements. If this one's not to your liking, and it's getting in the way. Alright, Lantern, Lantern, show me the way. Oh, it's that way. It's in the top left corner. Gotcha. Ah, shit. I just want to live my life as a lazy cat woman. Can I not do that? This game... Hey. This game's fucking me over. Like, holy shit. Oh, God. I'm gonna forget that. Oh, my God. I'm gonna forget that it's gonna be on the other side. Because I gotta go all around, I think. Vanilla Ice was cool as ice. You know what? Uh... Oh my god. I'm really trying to figure out where to go here. No! God damn it! Oh wait, no, maybe I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. There we go. This is it. That's the one. That's the one. That's the ticket we want. It's weird how this was just like... What is this... What exactly is the dream supposed to symbolize, though? Is it supposed to symbolize, like... I don't know, change or something? I don't know. I'm I'm bad at reading into things. So like, if you need to tell me something, you gotta be blunt about it. Sometimes you just gotta let me just go, just go. Like my brain just doesn't work that way. See, I don't even know half the time what I'm talking about. I'm, like, half of my streams is just psychotic rambling to myself as I'm trying to make sense of things. And for some reason, people like seeing me, like, ramble like this. For some odd reason. And my weird metaphors, too, for things. I forgot where the fucking, like, things were. This fat water didn't help at all! Hang on, I'm just gonna take a swig real quick. Ah, 
Ah, yes, now I remember. It's just all the way down there, across the side. Yeah, it's somewhere on the ground level, I know that. It's right around here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm and I can I I can figure this out. I know where it is. Somewhere on the ground level, I know that. Wait, is it on the ground level? Okay, I'm just gonna scatter the whole entire ground level and then I'm just gonna go like floors up. Because if I. I'm gonna be very disappointed with myself otherwise. This is just gonna be my legacy right now. The one guy who sucks at this game. Every other streamer or Let's Player who's ever done this game has probably done a way better job at playing this game than I have. Because I've constantly made mistakes, I have constantly, like, done and made stupid decisions. And I, that, that's just gonna be my legacy, I'm just gonna be the dumbest... Uh, like, fucker that, like, played this game, to be honest. I mean, shit, DSP probably, they could do better than me right now. And that's something. Oh, the, the game felt sorry for me, so it just told me where it was. There are no right or wrong decisions in this game, just paths. Which, which is probably a good thing that I placed this uh, as like a strictly like story based game. What should be like I'm at my interview. Good luck. Everybody say good luck right now to Cat and Chat or I'm gonna end the stream right now. Actually wait, no. Say good luck or I won't stop the stream. Get that negative shit right out of here, Ulysses. There it is. Holy shit. Oh, wow. That's a... Flamingo? Or a pelican? No, that's a... Was that a flamingo or a pelican? I can't I can't tell. Alright, who are we going today with? Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a li library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. The way my planets are to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and how cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. You can also steal pierogies. I haven't been able to steal pierogies. Ooh, 
What's in this safe, though? What is in this safe, though? I want to know what's in the safe. Is this a 100% completion, like, thing? Do I have to get all the achievements in order to unlock the safe? Is it just a thank you from the developers? Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the 10 hours or so you already get? You've already been my sleepy girl. Oof. God damn it. <laughs> Is this where it fucking originated? Even, like, fucking here too, really? When did you do, what did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. The safe combo is 42069. Of course! How could I have not... How could I have not realized... Oh shit, the road work's finally done here. Farming. I could farm. If I stay town long enough, I could see getting into farm life. Problem with my farms is the amount of poop. I'm gonna need you don't have animals. You actually have uh, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Bridge freezes before road. After this, a few miles, you go under the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. I had the haunted barn and brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Weird that town ends like, bam, right here. There's like a line somewhere that no one can see. You can put it on a map. Stream's so weird when you're not watching. <laughs> I would assume so. I've been getting into making screenshots. That's why you hear the little, oh, like, camera noise whenever I see something cool in the game. Can't wait to see Selmer's and congratulate her on the poetry night. Hey, Selmer's, you were great last night. No, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I'm good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. This is a short one because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. Ahem. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What are you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Alligator. Eye drops. Check out the building with a statue. It's like if Animal Crossing gets real. I play a main banjo, claw hammer. Real? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know a long black veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know, Willow Garden? Nope. Eh.
What building with the statue are you talking about? What, this? This building right here? Arnold Applebaum owned the mining company like a thousand years ago. Dad said he was a crook who hated the unions. But we did get a library. That got turned to departments. Hmm. Don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum, a father to all workers, a grandfather to their children, a great-grandfather to those children's children. It keeps going like that for a while. Erected, 1910. B has this dude right outside her window. Constantly. Arnold Stalker Bomb. Go through the windows? I can't... I can't go through the windows. What are you talking about? Is there something I'm missing? There should be a building you can sneak into. Talk to this guy up here, I think. Uh, okay. What do you want? Oh, there's clothes up here. Wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. It's an interesting thought. Shit. Seven months, and I need a shave. Uh, go to a barber. Way more, more, way more worth it, in my opinion. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz. I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school and wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Lesson Springs is nice, too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. When I was a girl. About your... I'm 20. Height. I used to lay awake at night. Worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh, jeez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. We should play Stardew sometime, like as a group. Oof. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm up to. I'm down to playing Star Stardew again. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Starbound though. Is there a new thing here? Use the 
use the bill. Oh, they're missing. Methinks a sp I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap! I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Delicious pretzels. Forget to delete the rest of that. Use the mit building. Use the missing. Nothing really happens. nothing here I can uh, I can't take it Let's see if that old woman's here Oh, there's a new character. Whoa, hi down there. Oh, there, May. Ha ha ha, is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel? In the late afternoon? What are you doing home from school? I guess I kind of dropped out. Oh dear, May. Yeah, sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? I don't know. What are you? So what are you even doing down there? It's my side hustle. Salvi Salvage. What's that? It's a joke. I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh, no, I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning antique enthusiast. Oh, side hustle. Okay. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? It'll be a short trip today, but it might be fun. Uh, sure. This probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take uh, one of the kids over there. Hey, teens. I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like, if anyone should ask, I got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. What was... Okay, let's go. <laughs> Lots of folks from somewhere else dive, drive past. Between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And we like going to the antique shops out here. I think I mean, they think it's exclusive or something. That's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit, look around, find something. Is this thing the safe to walk on? Oh, years of sediment, rocks, and junk. Ha! You called it junk, too. Find anything good? Yeah. Huh, big axe. Do I want to... I had a big ar garbage axe. Yes. It's so big and axy. Oh, it's a thing. A sled? Really bad bone. Maybe you like sleep in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? Instead of the garbage axe? No. Eh. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder someone with this. I have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh, dear. But somehow he'd ran over, run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. 
Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. I'm gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... wait, why? We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats, but bats like bugs, and bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready. We're coming up on a place they like to cluster together. Okay, got it. Here we go. Above me. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. Alright, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! Gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. You still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my mates from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stutter's old camp hunting camp. Get anything? Ed Grass got a six-point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. Oh, my God. It's a coconut monkey. Like the one Granddad brought back from Hawaii. Yes. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much, and we just met. Holy shit. Dracula teeth. These are so rad. I could totally be Dracula. All the false teeth in the world. Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent dragon teeth? Instead of my dear friend, coconut friend monkey? Blah. No. I can get new ones for like a buck. Over at the ham panther. I don't know if vintage Dracula teeth are that much of a find. Find anything good? Coconut monkey. Oh, wow. Is it still good? He's a little soft. He smells like trash water. When he's all dried out, he's going to be a regular member of the family. Huh, alright. You're not going to steal him for your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted? I think I can let this one go, May. And that's how I saved Longest Night. Ha <laughs> ha, wow. Do you ever tell your kids? What? No, it spoiled the magic. Did they ever notice your next car? If they did, they'd never say no said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. Coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever. Get the light ready. Shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Woo. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seem to find new ones all of the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Wow. Whoa, old trolley car over here. Yeah, we're getting close to the flood. Really hit the hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Uh-huh. wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? The sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. 
It's pretty though. Do I want this thing? Nah. It's gross and I don't care about spores anymore. Oh, nice. Football. Our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on ice. I could wear this if I was in fight. I could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? Yeah. It's functional. Find anything good? Football helmet. Oh, you sure won't, you sure you want that? Did I finally find something you want? Well, I mean, it's cool. You take it. No, it's all right. It's your boat. It's your garbage. You can have it. No, that's fine, May. No, I think you should have it. No, May, you take it. Take it. I don't want it. Neither do I. Take it. It's yours. God damn it. You take the epic helmet. No. Ah, you go straight to hell. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, sorry, I yelled. Me too. You happy with your helmet? Yeah, it's functional. <laughs> Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit here, though. Unless you kill them off before you get there. Why are we even here? Almost to the far platform. Oh, wow. Is that where we're going? Well, you get rid of most of the bats back there. So maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? I thank God I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir, too. I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, uh, they're always moving, kid. 20 years old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing hmm all right here we are the big one <laughs> wow this looks like something I dreamed or something it's familiar some days back then they thought the trolleys would stay on the track come a big flood but nah they went right along with the water bobbing up and down Crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river. Dig this whole thing out. Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting someplace beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh, yeah. You going to look around? I have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes from the side channels. It's got up back where they came from. Yeah, I, I think I'll still look around. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone brought this to keep something safe. No secret. Do I want to take this? It's just junk now. And I got nothing to lock up anyways. Nice! Wow. Wonder if it still works. I'd probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Congrats, man! Holy shit, you got the job? And I can't play it. Also, feel like some horn playing ghost is gonna haunt me if I take it from here. thing has like someone's intentions in it or something feels heavy someone should have it where'd you get a job at by the way cat find anything good got a lock and a key oh what are you gonna do with that i don't know i just figured someone should have it hmm that's thoughtful may i feel like we're a thousand miles away from possum springs yeah we're not so far though let's get going Here we are. Wow. You could do it, Ulysses. Ooh. 
that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. It's the only thing here that survived a flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. Wonder if in like 5,000 years some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna go look. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too, good luck. That's great. I'm very glad that you got a job, man. I didn't know you had managerial experience, though. So I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Not yet. Do I have to, like... Do I have to honestly just pick which one? How the fuck do you think Cat got mod? I don't know. I don't check credentials. What? Do you think this is an official, like, shit we got going on here? Do you think I did a background check on her, see if she did, like, any crimes in the past or shit like that? No, this is, like, winging it, essentially. I'm wondering how that, like, showed up, like, there, but... I can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're gonna burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail. No, you'd have no. You have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well. Ah. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah. Let's do it. Watch the pot shop burn down just how I got my roll. We watched a pot shop burn. That's how I got my mod roll. I was too high to, like, disagree. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. It collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not around year, year, it's not here year round. Oh, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Um... Uh, Things are, like, monumentally screwed right now, and no one in power gives a shit. <laughs> or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Wow, jeez. I meant, like, a skeleton or something. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Rip, that place is cool. Okay, okay. 
we'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right, how about this? Skeleton in your hallway at night. Skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger er, person outside your window. He's smiling and he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. This is just repressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is, like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What we're supposed to... Uh, what we're supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb, let's go. Corn cultists. Okay, so I'm going to go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up there then. Let's check out a grave or three. Hey. Hey. Is this? Yep. Oh. Oh my god. We got a... Um, I'm assuming... Uh, let's give her some space. Let's give her some space, boys. Rose, age 95 years old. Hmm, standard head so nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to look out the window to see a horse, and now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you could think of. She saw us from horses to the internet. Horses. Decent run. Catherine Fish, taken by the flu, 14. Oh dang. Lived, like, 14 years. Or family. Okay, I'm just sad now. Oh shit. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you? Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig graves with a shovel? Do you get spooked out here while you're lonesome? Nah, I work here. Things to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I have a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guide. Grave. Grave dude. Brad Boyson. Oh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. He crashed his bike. I bet it was like he was racing to his sweetie's house to beg her not to leave town. Then he took a dangerous curve for the pass and it went flying off the cliff. And his last words whispered in the rain, in midair, were, actually, I love my bike more. Please put it up on my grave. Jeez, B. How long does the mom visit at the TikTok, Beatrice? We got places to be. Holy crap, I'm, I, I am a jerk. DJ Hodar. Hodar. Hodor. Hodor. 
I I haven't really watched Game of Thrones, so I can't really properly reference that. Oh, someone is texting me right now. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yeah. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. Though I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. I shouldn't make... These were sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Is gay. Watch Outlander instead. Can you look up? Oh, okay. Uh, give me one second. I gotta just uh, text a number real quick. Delta Airlines. Copy. Yeah, I'm going to be leaving um, on the 10th of August, so I'll be gone for like seven days. Just stick with Lord of the Rings. The guy who plays Hodar is actually a side DJ player. That's cool. Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, observers, meddlers, teens, they're weird teens, oh. All right, well, we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions. Truthfully, what? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are. Well, we are at least. Answer. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Uh, who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do, like, math shit. And camp stuff. And apparently lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? We go to see what... I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be, like, grr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. We'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. That we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really 
That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> Caused nothing more of Elite Trooper than dressing in red and adding Sith. Seen the new Sith Troopers? That'll be your usual skin for a week. <laughs> it's the cankers. <laughs> that's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you can go. Uh, oh god. One time in junior high. One time in high school. One time in college. One time... I went to prom with this guy, Cole. Oh wow, I've been waiting, wanting the story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress. And I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him. But somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up the, this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I, like, rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it. And he starts choking and, like, fighting back. And I'm, like, chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm, like, plowing through these almonds, right? And the one guy gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has, like, slumped uh, against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the, I try the Heimlich maneuver, and it works. But I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon bleu. Literally. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> right then, someone walks in. So he's called dazed and bleeding and choking. And me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth. And for some reason, I think to flush him down the toilet. And that makes it overflow. So I grabbed Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom. Both of us covered in puke and blood in toilet water. And he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? That kid Josh, you rode his tractor to prom, so we're slowly driving to my house, cars slowing down and honking, while I'm on the bed crying my eyes out. That was seriously messed up. May, I... I... I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Jeez. This is their worst fear. Y'all don't understand that this is the worst fear that a girl has. Water, but literally my fear. Damn, oof. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have come face to face with your lowest moments. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Is this my dreams? Jesus Christ, that prom story was something. Jesus Christ. I am so happy I didn't go to prom as a teenager. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. Do you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, thanks. That's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Do I say no or do I say yes? Just, uh, just, just be honest, I guess. I haven't seen him. No, I haven't seen I mean, I can't really tell. I, and I don't think the ghosts were, like, people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened in people that were there. Oh. Trust me. None of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. <laughs> That's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. All right. Anyway, so the bad news is that we're locked out by that big-ass gate. Uh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard um, to keep to keep people like you out? And stop what you're probably going to do. Hmm. Yeah, well, never know for sure. All right. Well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. 
my thing. You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost! I'm just the driver! Fine, hang out. I'll be back. It just goes from funny to real, real fast. There's no way I'm gonna leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Oh, those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Shit. Shit. Am I really gonna get stuck on this part here? Oh shit, I had it. I was up there. <laughs> uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here, and it's getting late. Mm hmm. You're welcome, by the way. You see? Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's go. Jesus, that prom story, though, is like one of the funniest, I think. Joe Shade. Yep, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna go look around for ghosts. Uh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool, May. I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had... Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stout. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they've ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Jesus. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something! It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is. Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Oh, uh, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe! Okay, that didn't sound right. Oh, shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that! About the sinkholes! We're lucky it wasn't deeper! Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kinda curious, at least? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. 
You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three! Oh! <laughs> so what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just, like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave. Now! It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. I'm gonna take a victory nap. <laughs> there it is! There it was! Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. Mate, it was the groundskeeper or something investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up! Rawr, I saw the effing ghost! We saw someone! There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Are you assuming it's gender? Basically. <laughs> Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his pit spirit wanders? Must be avenged. Saw him. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. No, we didn't say hi to the... Let's talk. Who wants to talk? Hey, baby, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry. I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? What about the ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the ground key groundskeeper. Hmm? I thought you believed in ghosts. I do. Kinda, I think. Why couldn't that have been the ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever. I'd make you learn how to drive at the very least. But anyway, how could you even make out, make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah! Fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove, you came with me. Thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep, you need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery, and we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was, like, it was totally, like, the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa! It was, like, effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, bro. Good night as F. <laughs> oh, shit. I actually have all the stuff. Bedtime? Yes. Uh, 
another platforming section. Move towards the light. Oh my goodness. I'm going to at least try to, um, by the way, off topic though, but like, I'm going to try to at least do these streams like every day-ish, like for a couple hours. Like, just for a couple hours. Because uh, I know you guys have been waiting for me to come back and everything. Holy crap. Dude. Oh my god. Is that a... Hello? Is that a cat? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. We tease babes. Do what's comfy for you, boo. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not his God, this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are, in explaining, are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here, then, and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sand. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making... A tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it all is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. Every hole is a goal. That's cool. Can I get a burger? <laughs> so does this anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about trees in the fall? What about, what about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. 
Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. You, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten, goodbye, little creature. I'm so confused. Like, what, what the fuck just happened? Echoes. Oh, everybody wants to talk to me. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in the town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude, at the old snail gun. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, sincerely Gregory. Planets are meant to be pitied because they aren't. Okay, that's the thing that he said. Ooh, I got the football helmet, the bunch of stuff. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us without, with you. And you were a miracle, baby. That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. Oh, and then there were, you were... Oh. Oh, okay. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I am not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you could always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Mom! Jesus Christ. Reminds me of my mom when it comes to that shit. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess why. You look like you went through uh, the dryer on the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem to cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report... Life is too short. Ha <laughs> ha. Here's another happy one. Life is great. Life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Summers. Did they cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chasico's up there again. You ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no. He'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. Talk to him. Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke and Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. I'm having a victory back with a victory... At, at, with a victory vegetarian burger. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones.
May! Mr. Chazakov! You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it. Come have a look. Ah! Gotcha. Oh, which one's this? Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. Faraway lands. I was into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must us know what became of her. Yeah. How she and her quest turned her back on the sky. And journeyed down into the earth. Where her stars no, were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again? Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad... Is that not a sad ending? No, disappearing is the same as dying. Yeah, I mean, she probably died. She lives well. She did amazing things. It is not sad to die having done so much. I guess. Still sucks dying. It is a shame. Now you sound French. Fuck. Okay. Do you want to come here and start doing voices? Or do you want to criticize? Do you want to like criticize my accents more? Because I can't keep up with this. I think this one. Zeta C. Cole the Mountainer. Cole. I knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cove was from Hamafratland. This Midwest? Whatever has the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreams of mountains. He devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat. Isn't this common an instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one has grown up? Yeah, I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff, and there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible. To those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complains that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds. And now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. But one leaves a place. One brings something back when one returns. One. One. Woof! That's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet. Stars, I mean. I am in agreement. I'm gonna see if the old woman's there. Tell me more about my, uh, my, my grandpappy. Uh, old woman's out there. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyway, anyone hear anything about anyone messing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Oh, okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. 
Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulvale. Mulvay? You know someone from Mulvay? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvay is? Do you know what Mulvay is? No. I heard about Mulvay. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvay used to be one of his stops. What happened? You don't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvay? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go. I need to get back into the sun now. So, we checked out the graveyard, so, why did I just go through the tunnel and, like, come all the way back? I want to check out the church. I want to say hi to Bruce first. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you, and I'm sorry I caused her trouble, but I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand and, and to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandparents hey, and babies play in the yard. Still, I'll be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy, poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. I don't know. Should I tell... The pastor now, or should I tell her tomorrow? Tell her now. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space. And we have people who need space. We have resources. We have poverty. And, it, and not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now. To bring business into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stack full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Ugh, stressful day.
Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever. It's out of our hands now, but there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately? I could see that. That seems to be the trouble. I think I met God. What? I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or it, like, happened? Sure. Can you tell me about it? It was like the shore. I could see, like, forever into the sky, and below it was just sand. As far as I could see, I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something, and I came up over this. What do you call a hell made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there up on another hill, or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They were kind of a... Like they didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care, in general. They went on and on how, how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about... How nothing matters. This giant hole, the center of everything, is growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you ever been falling lonely lately? Kinda. Yes, I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I don't think I... I don't think I believe in God anymore. I guess. I guess. Sometimes that's the best you got. Yeah. I feel like that's not... Maybe... That's maybe not a good enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to get... Keep going... Getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening... Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. My best days, I think I do. But there are times where I didn't, where I don't. But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week. And give some sort of tally on how much I believe that week. Matt, but who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but then what is the point? Nine of you. I have to go. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna tell her the whole thing about Bruce just leaving. Why is this game so real? Can this game stop being real? Jesus Christ. Hey, hun. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hun. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. There's so much empty space. Come on, Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, bombers. See ya, daughters. Oof. That was just really rough right there. Holy crap. Alright, Church only plays Power Wolf. 
I'm gonna see if I can talk to Bruce one more time before I go over to uh, Greg's. Uh, can't talk to him again. hate to cut this I'm not really cutting this but uh, just pausing this really short because I really have to pee actually real quick so I will be right back give me one second
back. I get back as soon as you fucking type that. How how silly do you feel right now? Got him. Shit. I was about to say, don't fucking tell me I crashed it. I wasn't just peeing, I had to actually get some food. I wasn't peeing for all of 10 minutes. I literally wasn't peeing all, for all of 10 minutes. I had, I got a drink here, see? And I got food. Because I'm a human being and I need food and water. So I can pee, pe so I can pee and poop. Is this just gonna be a thing now? I'm just I just pee for ten minutes and I need to rehydrate to pee again. I'm gonna see what Greg's doing. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes, Why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true, we both danced on the table and nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Gay bear, please. Okay, fine. Let's talk to Greg first. Let's talk to him. At the very least. What's up, dude? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I saw some space bugs. Met God. Jeez. They were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? Replace the idea of a caring God? I could throw in some chips. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm good. So what's up? Just check it in. Have you checked in officially? I checked the... Oh, now you want to hang out with Greg. Now you want me to hang out with Greg. Really, cat. Actually, you want to hang out? Got some date night stuff with Angus. That's cool. I might have B. Hit her the F up. Well, shit. Hey, they're doing shit today. Him and Angus have a date. I'll just talk to Angus. Hey, dude. Totally. What's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Don't mind me. Lesbian, two gay dogs, two gay dogs, three gay bear. Hey, B. Hey. You're right, you seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Want around town. Whatever you want to do. Proximity. I've said their names a bunch of times. So what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? Do you remember Jackie? Yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Did Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. 
Trans world order, give them hell. Two gift? Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. He's a fuck. Two gift. Hey, B, say it. Say two gift. Two gift. Two gift. Two gift. Anyway. This is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you. All going. Kind of secret parties and shit. They're not secret, mate. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invited you. You are now invited. Woohoo! And we got like a 90 minute drive ahead. So, jeez. This better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? What even was that play? Gorb and the Thief. Old. Kind of obscure. Like a little barn cat. Lived in the woods where no one could find him. But then he stole a diamond or something from the local king and got arrested to death. Oh yeah, right. Yep. There's a whole second part where he's a ghost, but they never performed that one. Poor ghost cat. Alright, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Hmm. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie! Hey, B! Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May? Yeah. Is that okay? Sure! It'll be fun! Come on in! It's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. Something tells me Jackie's kind of a bitch. I have a feeling she's a total bitch. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. You can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Haha. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Right Harbor. A couple of born and bred harbor rats. A lot of socialist commentary on this. What are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up. We're going to go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, babe? Can, like, anyone here dance? guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away with an eye shot, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously. If any, B, I'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay.
I'm only saying that because I remember B saying shit like about socialism and stuff earlier on. Time to see my moves. Hold on, let me see if I can put this down real quick. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Samantha Stevenson. Samantha. I like it. Sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires and I play bass. And I play bass. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, it's just a regular bass guitar. Nothing special about it. Got it for my 16th birthday. It's got my blood on it. Is that a problem with the vampires? Yeah, they totally covet that shit. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm so used to the awesome stuff. I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh, really? Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh, yeah, you should, Samantha. Ha <laughs> hex again. Boom. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focused not on the witch. Bitch is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party, dishing out wisdom. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Hey, B. Oh, hey, man. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Oh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah, haha. <laughs> like Memento Mori and shit? Yeah, sick transit, Gloria nerd. What's that? Remember, you are gonna die. Does anyone need help with that? Jesus, anyone need help with that? <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Haha, <laughs> well, a book you liked. I liked ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple crate full. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay. It was years ago. Beast Bob is dead. <laughs> no, why? Why? Why are we so awkward? No. Why did you say that? Oh, what the fuck? Ha 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 ha. May, may stop. I'm sure everyone here is so dead. Oh. F. Why? Jesus Christ! You don't say that! Ah! Should've just fucking... Ugh. No, it probably would've just led into that anyway, though. Jesus. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog. We had that before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? poli -sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. Uh... Cool party, right? Did you know how we all die sometime? 
That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars just to go to college. Just because something's interesting. Oh my god, May, no, shut up. Oh my... <sighs> Why? Hey, man. What the fuck? No, don't say that shit. Why is she just... Why is she like this? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Sure. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Oh, tell me about it. I know I've been running a small business. Want to go across the street and get pizza? I could eat it. It's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled fresh. Fucking... This is painful to watch. It's like watching a train wreck. It's like watching a bus, like, crash into, like, some shit, dude. You don't fu- like, hey, oh my god. How come along if that's me, being violently gay for me? Yeah, they are gay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. No! Just shut up! No! Just shut up! She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Ha ha ha, May, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west of the mountains. Oh my god. Please. Oh. Our right, politician. Bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Ha ha ha. I'm kind of over the college thing myself. You dropped out, though. Uh, I mean, I basically... Oh, my God. This is painful! I hate this right now! Why am I playing this? Except there's, like, a ghost or something. You didn't even drink! May, how are you acting this way? You two live in Possum Spring. Yeah. Got a problem with that? Yeah. Drive all the way on. Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, be you drove in from Deep Hollow? Are you not a student? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh my god, she was lying and saying she was a college student. They don't know that- they don't know that she lives in Possum Springs and runs her dad's store. She was out here because she wanted to pretend to be a college student. Because she never got to go to college. Oh 
my god. This is the only other option we had to pick, though. Like... Oh my god. I can't even look at the screen right now. I'm looking at the stream chat right now. <laughs> B, wait. Why didn't we just fuck off and go dancing? I think she doesn't go here, so. Dude, I don't even know. God. This is. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna uh, go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Two. Okay. First th off, two, by the way, in her defense, she never said that she was she she was never let in on this I'm just going to say this right now May had no idea obviously that she was pretending to be a college student first off she was never told that in the car before coming here whatsoever so Literally, she had no idea, like, she had absolutely no idea. Huh. Also, B, like, was lying, too, the whole time. Is it wrong that she pretended to? Obviously not. It's not wrong that she was pretending, in my honest opinion. But, like, uh, but like, if you're going to lie about something, wouldn't you tell the person that you don't know, like, who has, like, who you brought along with you? Like, like, to, like let them know, like, this is, like, the deal. Like, don't tell anybody this. Like, don't tell anybody we're from here. Like, and do this and that. Like... I, I'm just saying, man, man, I'm just saying, be screwed up here by not telling me at anything whatsoever. Right. And, and May really, like, only had nice things to really say about her, too. So it's like, man. but I get why she's upset, though, too. It could have been a seat of the pants choice. Is that a metaphor? Okay. Oh god, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Fuck you too! Where are you, B? The roofs can... The roofs can get... Eh, it's the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end, end you right here in this pizza parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. You tell me to... Don't tell me to cool down. Don't... Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run hunt it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now. I'm gonna to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. Last person I heard, physically, I heard him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to you're about to what? 
You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Oh god, we have to run and find B now. Oh yeah, that's possible too, that uh, she made it up on the fly. So you can't really be mad at, like, made as well, like, uh... If she made it just up on the fly, too. Wait, this is from, like, before, I think. B, there you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? It's, like, extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town, and you don't even know what... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for, like, two hours a month. You could have been, like, mugged or something. I don't like either of these choices. I don't like all the, I don't like any of them. This is normal. Could have been like mugged or something. All over some idiot guy. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you a complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? Ha ha ha, this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This is the thing you're so over already. It's like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that, that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard. I take care of what's left of my family and my life is slipping away. And I'm trapped in this stupid hardware store in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. Not the only person stuck here, you know? You gave up on the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I cannot hate you for that. A little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever not even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh. Right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. My Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. So, well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit's going on this past week. Ghosts and shit. I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. 
Oh god. Whatever is this? Red wind red winder. All the iron in the water. Turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Stouts? Like, uh, is this just... What's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something. That keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. You can come to another one sometimes. I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh god, thanks. Oh good, thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've met. Thanks. And you are not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God, the fake one. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? A super cute girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. That was a girl? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again. Home again. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Where to even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is gonna happen. I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where it's all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had to be, and I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, 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 shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. I have to answer another text. Hold on. Malloy! Garbo! Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's something up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invited into religion yet. <laughs> You are making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there is a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. Yeah, could, Malloy. But it would be... 
A whopper. Garbo and I contact the dead. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. He's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, that party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way? I had to the river. Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really took it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Oh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of a... I can think of worse fates. Aww. I didn't think May would be gay, but like, I guess so. Let's fuck go to bed. Let's check our messages. Hello, May. Pickaxe at it. Me. You know the drill. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Jumps in the blank. May screams awkward bisexual. Hmm. Jeez. It's like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Wonder if the new working nine clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different, huge and spooky, making weird noises at night. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Do do do. We have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Oh, hmm. There's, like, something written inside the book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is that, like, what I th think it is? That's an odd place where we found the fucking, like, detective book. Oh, wait, haha, <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 45, right? Here. Thanks, Granddad. Aha, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Oh, holy shit. This is like one of the boss teeth. Like, from that thing? Oh my god. What am I gonna do with it? I'll take it. The boss teeth? What is it? What, 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 what teeth are you talking about? From the library. From the library? About the miners. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. 
I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Okay, I'm gonna go. Sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. You didn't read the newspaper article? I don't know which newspaper article you're talking about. It said the boss teeth. Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man and medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Oh, that means... doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost was seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. Got a headache. Why are you run running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never bark. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark. The stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. You know, it's anything like weird around here lately? Weird is in... Ghost man? A uh, ghost man? Yeah. Not that I recall. I think I'm going crazy. I think maybe I'm seeing things. My mom sees ghosts. Swears there's one in the basement. But she's wrong. How do you know? I live in the basement. Are you a ghost? <laughs> Not yet. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get it cold soon. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. How much more game do I have left, actually, now that I think about it? Will tunnel fish be always there? Will tunnel drain can now be bare? I wouldn't miss the tunnel fish to have them back would be my wish. Are they going to drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. You're almost there. Oh, wait, shit, I should go to the church. I gotta tell her that thing first. I promised I, I promised Bruce I'd tell her. Oh my god, dude. Bruce still here? No, probably not, right? We got statues of stern dudes from miles here in Fall Spring, Possum Springs. Oh, he's really gone, I think. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... what? Yeah, 
He's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. What's that say on there? Trying to read that shit. Did he kill himself? I hope not. Can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hon. Like nature. That is such a creepy hey, statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on. Just, just ignore me. Okay, hon. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely coming to the scene, the memory. Taking a brain photo. Yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great. I went. With the games, you get you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got you too. Love you, sweetie. Love you too, mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. That doesn't get a lot of use these days, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. The door back there is unlocked now, so I have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, mom. No problem, sweetie. This game is sad, too. It is sad. Why did I decide to play this? Why did people recommend this to me? What the fuck? It's a ghost! It's a ghost! Is that granddad? That's grandpappy! It's Grandpappers! I'm taking a screenshot of this. Ghosts are real in this universe. What do I do? Press F. Oh, I just pressed F and I'm back outside now. Was that it?
Press F to pay respects to Grandpa. God damn it. You're right. I think you can hang out with Angus now. No, we should hang out with Greg. We haven't hung out with Greg in a while. Well, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed a new job. Yep, moving on to better things. Kids excited? Oh, uh, yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. Heh. <laughs> well, yep. Yep. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go, smelters! Yep. Aw. They're best friends. And the guy's moving away. What happened to the old woman that I was supposed to... She's not here. I know that. Hey, man. Hey. How you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I barely slept. Even though I slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? Kill me? Bang. I shot you. Thanks. So what are you up to today? Just saying, hey. You want to check out the historical site? Sure, you seem like really tired. Yeah, let's do this. We're gonna be hanging out with Angus anyway, so. Sorry, we crashed. It's okay. It's your bike okay? Yeah, I could fix it. I'm okay. It's, uh, it's too bad you didn't get run over. It's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. It's too bad you didn't get eaten by scavengers alive. <laughs> Netflix series about Silent Hill. Oh, becoming Silent Hill like a prequel series. I don't think that would go over well, to be honest, because, like, honestly, the whole appeal of Silent Hill is that the entire town is a mystery, and if you were to explain that, I think it would take, like, the whole, like, whole, like idea of Silent Hill, like, uh, just kind of destroy it, kind of, so I'm not 100% on it, so, so that's it, huh? Yep. Ever been out of here before? Me either. Me? Oh, uh, I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? We're just breaking into one old house. Crimes. Yep. Looks kind of, uh, exactly like a haunted house. Yeah. Like the one in that cover of the book. Haunting of Arbor Street. We have an Arbor Street. Yeah, book spooked me pretty good as a kid. Big evil house. This place looks exactly like it. Well, you're looking for a ghost, right? I think that might be actually something cool yeah the other night yeah well whoever this is maybe we'll go i'll get some info here it's not like a person dude it's a ghost um right well let's go find us a ghost well the idea of silent hill is not that it's being taken over by a cult like that it's the entire town is a mystery 
Greg? Hey, where are you? Over here. Oh yeah, found the basement doors. What? Stop yelling. Why are you talking like that? If they th eh. if they th understand of it, it's harder. If they change instead of if, it's harder. If you say t instead of if, it's harder. For someone, for example, a ghost can to hear that you're speaking. I have no idea what you're saying here. Okay, we're trying to be stealthy, right? Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Thank you. I'm not going to do that. Okay. We're fine, nobody's here. No lights on, doors are locked. So how are we doing this? You are going to hold the flashlight. Well, I picked this lock. You can pick locks, I totally forgot. Yeah, dude. This is kind of awesome. It sure is. Crimes, dude. Crimeth, dude. Hey, you want to shine that light down here? Cool, thanks. Oh my god, what was that? Nothing. Uh-huh. Hey, more light, please. Tyler talk. I like to thank the creators of this game for making Tyler talk like that. What the fuck? WTF? Okay, there's something up there. Told you. Alright, let's finish this. Also, watch my back. Basically, do both. Hey, you up there. <gasps> Holy shit! Holy fuck! Friggin' owl. You okay? <laughs> I think so. That was dangerous. I didn't know owls attacked like that. What was this effing deal? So we're in the basement. What are we looking for, by the way? thing I read said that sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things in something called the map room in some off-limits area. Technically, all this is an off-limits area right now. True, dude. True. True, dude. True. Dude, is that like two elevators and not like old ones? Locked, too. Jeez, maybe this place is all elevators. Weird. Why would you have two? One for the ghosts, one for the normies. Private rooftop ghost party for the ghost pool. Hope you get squished by the elevator. I hope your head gets stuck in the door and gets chopped off. I hope you fall down an elevator shaft. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator filled with water and an angry shark. Holy crap, dude, that's. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It looks pretty empty and dark. Hey, where's the flashlight? Crap. I left it outside. Dude. You are being attacked by an owl. Alright, well, I can see, okay. Me too. Let's look around. Closed for insurance purposes. Caution. Stairs not for climbing. These stairs are aren't original to the house. And are not functional at this time. What the hell are non functioning stairs? So, are we just supposed to, like, levitate? Huh. Oh, check it out. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevator's for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost. Okay, fine. It's not even real. 
What? Dude. What the hell was that? I don't know. Is someone here? No. Lights off. Doors locked. No cars outside. Okay, so... Do you want to go back? Do you have your knife? Yeah? Okay. Wait, is the assumption that I'm going to stab someone? Is that the plan now? No, I mean, just in case. I mean, the basement door locked behind us. Oh, right, crap. Gonna have to find another way out, too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. This is complicated. Crimes. Crimes. Is this the map room? Oh, hey. Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. You remember this, right? Not super well. Yeah, there was this big explosion at one of the old mines, and it could have been avoided or something. And then the miners went on strike. Oh! Because they were getting screwed and kid killed. Oh! Wait! I remember. I remember what you were talking about with the... With, with, um... The teeth now. The tooth, actually, right now, actually. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, they... Didn't they... Yeah, the miners were fed up with the boss, and they stormed his, like, his estate. Like, they stormed... Like, they, they, they jumped on him or something, and then they ripped all his teeth out, and now I have one of his teeth. Now I have one of his toofies. Because they were getting screwed and killed, and, like, it went on a while, and other mines and places joined up like to be like you've messed with all of us that's awesome yeah the bosses and the governor they sent in like soldiers and stuff because they're assholes and some kid or something threw a rock at one of them and the soldiers like opened fire holy crap where did this happen northwest end of town there's like a marker for it ugh that's awful bosses are bad bosses are bad weird how like we're all supposed to look up to like bosses just in general like even bad ones yeah I refuse extremely ditto what a weird thing to do. Okay. Well, nothing weird in here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. It's gonna pop. That happens. I'm leaving your headless corpse here. Ha <laughs> They'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald, I'm gonna open this door for the room of the day. Ah! I say this chap's brain appears to have burst. Bring the mop, won't you, Ronald? I used to live near a place where that happened. Jesus Christ. Was that in Boston? Holy crap, is that elevator number four? How? Why? Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. Ah, That is not cool. Maybe it's like... Someone left the phone here? That's, uh... Probably that. Probably. Probably. Grimes. Grimes. Going up. No outskirts of Trinidad. Oh, shit. You were in Trinidad? You're kidding me. Elevator number five. Hmm. Locked. And this is as high as we're gonna go without picking some locks, so... Ah, oh, crap. You're kidding me. Drop the lockpick stuff out, Beck. You're kidding me. I was being attacked by an owl. Okay. Sorry. Can you, like, improvise? Uh, need some pliers. And... You got a paperclip? Uh, no. Who walk walking around on Earth today is carrying a paperclip? Nobody. So, like, okay, just... I got... Just so I got this straight now. Shoot. Map room, forbidden zone. Find a way out. Find pliers. Find paperclip. I think that's it. This is so stupid. This is like work. This is all work. Did you hear that? Yeah. Didn't sound like a person. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, well, let's hurry.
Oh, hey, it's my neighborhood. And the highway. No ham panther, though. Must be old. Oh, wait. We're in the map room. Well, let's be extra careful. Okay. Crimes. Crimes. There's the graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Spooky. Like, we're being watched. Hey, it's my neighborhood. Wow, there's a tiny U in there, I bet. Whoa, that's... Sorry. That, like, made me dizzy. I'm dangerous. Good old towny sentry. Towny sentry. The center of our towny. Quite. Oh, I think that's the old food donkey. And the woods... That's your ghost guy ran into? Yep. He sure gets around for a dead guy. That he does. What town to villa literally? Creepy noise again in this room. Ah, it's alive! Jeez, that thing's ugly. Well, this is the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait. No. If it was making that noise, that means that someone was in here. Well, we were walking around. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. No, we have to find stuff. Oh, stuff? Dude, we're gonna get tasered or something by a big, bulking, uh, historical society employee. Whatever. I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine! Fine! I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I'd never turn you in. Me either. Crimes. Crimes. <laughs> hey, check it out. Toolbox. The repair guy must have left that uh, after the next halfway, after the night, halfway through fixing them. Oh, hey, some pliers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd hey, find them just like that. Starve in here. Hmm. There'll be people here in the morning. Oh, right. So, we need a paperclip. I'm sure there's a paperclip somewhere in this place. They probably have, like, an office or something. Probably with, like, nine elevators in it. Okay, so we picked up the pliers. Dude, their town only has six streets. <laughs> I didn't notice that actually they it did they do actually only have six streets all right so we gotta go down now going down other people go on weird ghost hunting adventures and they're looking for like cool shit I guess I found an ancient skeleton body last night yeah dude at least we haven't met anyone dead yet. Okay, well, yeah, let's find a paperclip. Big ass stapler. Donut wolf receipt. Ride that chariot, Nancy. Picture of a dang hound dog. One of those little hula girls. Picture of some dang kids. Found one! Alright, so we got the stuff. Let's head back to the elevator and see what's upstairs. I guess it's like 12 more elevators. up. Alright, we're ready to go. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna, like, break out of the county jail someday. With these skills? Dude, what are you going to jail for? Probably something like this, honestly. <laughs> I like his little noodle arms. Uh, dude? You need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap. Okay, I'll have it done in... Oh, God. Uh, dude, the elevator. Shit. Shit. Hurry. There, I got it. Go. Holy shit, are we in the basement? Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, hey. 
All right, that's where the elevator goes? This elevator. Yeah, so this is making a lot of sense. Maybe like this elevator is for loading things from the map room and like they use the other two to avoid the stairs. But even then, dude, none of this makes sense. Doesn't look like whatever that is following us down here. Whatever, not whoever, whoever. Are you coming around out on this ghost thing? Ghosts don't use elevators. Why, so a ghost could walk up the stairs or something, but elevators are out of the question. So the question I have is, where does that one go? Okay, crimes, crimes. Okay, just gotta pick this. In the dark. Jeez, sorry, it's cool, I... Shit, I'm gonna keep picking. You see if we can get through, how? Oh, out through the back. stuck. We are so screwed. I'm working. I'm working. It's locked. Something locked it. Someone. We can go back upstairs? Actually, no. We're just going to get chased around in a circle by whatever it is. Whoever it is. Dude. And got it. We don't know where this is going to go. Got any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't. They have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic with no stops in between? What the actual crap? Wait, let's find a way out. I found a window. I think there's a fire escape. Window doesn't open though. Oh my god, what is this place? Forbidden zone. Are they starting like a weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. What the? No, this is familiar. How do I know this? Shit, dude. The elevator. Why do I know this painting? Dude, come on. The elevator's coming back up. Hurry! We're gonna get arrested at the bottom of these, this fire. Holy shit, there's the ghost! Greg, where did you go? The steps just ended, you gotta jump! Oh, the one time I don't fall, land on my feet. Ow. You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can, like, feel it. Okay, fine. Ghost. Ghost security guard. Sorry about all this. You crashed your bike. Got mauled by an owl, broke through a window, and jumped off the fire escape. Nah, dude. Wasn't nothing. You're really a good friend, Greg. Psh. Crimes. Crimes. Uh, did I just pass out? What the fuck? Ah, dude, what's wrong? Uh, dude, talk to me. She's uh, my head. We need to talk to everyone tonight. Okay, okay. Can you get on the bike? I think so. Okay, grab. Have on to me and I'll get us home quick. What about the ghost? Ain't no ghosts here. Let's go. Thanks for like coming. Again, we live here. <laughs> yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So like, do you have any idea what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head. There's a ghost following me. There's a ghost following me. Like, it keeps showing up when we go out to, like, investigate it. Or all those times it could have just been a random person. No, I can, like, feel it in my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. 
It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know it, that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I got migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently and I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up, up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really going to hike up past the basketball court. It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Huh? Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was missing to say something like that. Uh, you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. For outlaws. But thank you for believing in me. For believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right. Let's hunt some ghosts. Haven't been on a hike like in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? No reason. All right. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Bad art. No clues. How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are like up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk, trees, and animals. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. You can definitely tell they're all friends. Wait. What? I think I heard an owl. Oh, hun. Greg got attacked by an owl bee. What? When? When we were breaking into that history place. I don't think they attack groups, bug. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warned you all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, oh, thanks, Cap'n. Big dangerous grid. Scared of birds. I almost died from that owl! Ah, uh, what a cute little... Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when I... You remember this from when you were 12, Craig? Yeah, I was scared of it. Oh, they even get all this back up in here. Shudder. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So, it's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Dude, hey, May. I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. That is kind of cute, actually. Greg and Angus are a cute couple. I want to know exactly how B is able to keep a lit cigarette in her mouth, like, almost 24-7. And everywhere and anywhere at any given time. What the... Huh? Oh my god. Oh, n no, no. Ah, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Ah, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Blair, if you knew this was going to happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. 
Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake. You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg's stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wished you'd call me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't got to worry about Jeannie and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want. Uh, for nothing. He's not going to budge with that leg sticking straight out. Ah, oh, hell no. Ah, oh, hell. Dave, Rick, Betty, guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no. Hold him still. No! What is going on? Uh, it cut his leg off? Oh, still, this will go easier. Oh! oh. Alright, he's free. They cut his foot off, didn't he, Lerv? Uh. Lerv. Hey, no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Ah, uh, uh, oh, let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lerv. Ugh, God, his bone's sticking out. Ugh. It's a cult, yeah. <gasps> the hell? Shit! May? May Borowski? Run! Oh god, we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run! Oh! Oh god, 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 Run! Just run, 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 Oh god, they're catching up! They're catching up, they're catching up! Oh god, oh god, oh god! No, 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 oh god! Oh no, 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 no! The end of everything. What the fuck is going on right now? Nice. Nice. Yep. Barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head while I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like to go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Alright, well... Oh, I'm playing as B now? I don't see anyone out there. Just wait, he'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is? Uh, big guy, dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Okay, so we got brownies, sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies and yeah. Maybe lasagna. Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you like scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. <laughs> Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Uh, no more than anyone else. Now I am the edgy one with the cigarette. Getting dark earlier. So no word from her parents? Nope. That's bad, right? Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. 
I like to listen to half the bands on it. We're going to see if the blank stones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. I played this until I broke. That's harsh. There's a spread. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. I am so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm... Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. What do you mean, oh my god? What happened? Oh shit, there I am. There's May. The mouth of gay sleeping in a bunk bed is my life. <laughs> More stuff on the ground. Cult. Yep, you were right. It's a cult. It's a cult the whole time. What is going on? Where am I right now? Is that why Bruce left? Did he figure out about the cult? So he ran away? What the fuck? Oh, God is here in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. Sniff. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And, and she loved to hear about them. She... I'm sorry. Anyone else? A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and I just think it's not fair that many of all people should have trouble. Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Brown has always been a menace, and I called the police on her more than once. If she wakes up and learns the lesson, that's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the blog. Speak for yourself. Sometimes, folks, Hux is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down the end of the center ave. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell in. She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh. Well. 
I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? No, I suppose to be fixing the door. And here? Nope. Okay, so she's going to be fine. For today, at least ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. Where am I to go? What the fuck? Where am I going? Oh my god. B? Oh my god. May? Holy shit, it's May. It's May. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You could sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, this sounds good. Our mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Look, she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Mm hmm. Both of you, shh. Noth. What? It's Lith now. It's Lath Noisy. It's Lath Noisy. Oh. So, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway and now, since possibility is closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe, I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's on him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him, the pizza guy. Pizza's here. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? No, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Um, yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool, I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there? B's here. Okay. I'll be back back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, huh, love you, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there, so I'd, like, 
puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this... I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, if we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played that at that. I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Oh, uh, there's B. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. Like, we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Gonna you know, like gonna you know, like don't push yourself. I'm just going to double check real quick if there's anything else that I need to do. Just in case. I don't think there's much of anything I can do now. Everyone's talked to. I like how we kind of slide on the ground as we're walking. Can we all hit the sack? Cool. I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Alright, safe for you to leave. None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, germ. Oh, they're sharing the couch together. You know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game you were... Like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it like 24-7 until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. Broke. It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. Their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never uh, would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost all those real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. And like that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. Looked at it every day, it was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just the thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like, all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just, like, this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's... Huh. 
And the next day was the Stats softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes, too. Just lines someone wrote. Nothing, like, nothing in there. I was just so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh my god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal. Yeah, he kind of just said it would help me be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. But since this whole thing happened when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shaped like shapes like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. But I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was a statue of, like, the founder of something. A really shitty statue, like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. He was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally I got the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it was just, just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and a half, half dozen other things he does and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression, anxiety, and like, I don't know what you're going through. It exists. I thought uh, when I came home, I just felt so safe there. Everything made sense for a few days and then all this and... And, and, it's going to be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared. But we're going to make it. You should get some sleep. I... Bye, guys. Love you. Oh, my God. What's going on? What are you? Are you actually a ghost or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine, let's do this. Oh shit. Boom. Get away from here, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ugh, you shot me! Yeah, we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. When did Greg get a crossbow? I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, bae. Ah, Ooh! The fuck? You okay? What are... You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around and kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? It, it's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. 
Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly, we would all be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. But you're not dying either. <coughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Kind of like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. No, I have to go alone. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up. Or something. Can you walk me? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. Gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it or shut it or something. Oh, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. I have to go down there. Well, then. Looks like all of us, all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. Sure you wanna do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. Oof. That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you on our... Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the bro... This is in the brochure. Holy crap, dude. Well, we're here. Well, here we are. Cough. Mayor, are you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma works. It's not asthma, big guy, but thanks. Shh. I heard something down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm all right. We should be quiet. Yeah, you gotta save up oh, for the screaming later. <laughs> what the fuck? Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Oh, jeez. 
What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Which Doctor Who episode? Sorry if I'm like not trying to like talk to you, like, like you guys like a lot, but like I'm just really getting into this. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Aid, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the end of the night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. That Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers? Contributors! Um, okay. So, we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that E... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Best Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials on the date on in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot long uh, before any of us were born. Too close to water, and that water was poison. When the first settlers came here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing, but that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice girl. In dreams and in waking times. Which what brought you down here? So what does this have to do with me, him, or any... What does this have to do? You've got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care. Only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. While we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, you got answers back. 
answers. Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he uh, takes a shine into. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked, eh, knocked us all into all this. After that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was that town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting too and younger, and money came too. Still, a few of us left from back then. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who believed you. Me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. Next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number uh, broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no uh, one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society, except the bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long, before whatever said and he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Alright, now throw it down or oh, right now or I'll shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt streaking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I. I. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again one day. So old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. It used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home became I'm a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job became a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling me us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really, you're like pitching us, us on this? 
or any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially? Like, or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we... Why should we help you? Because if no one else is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Spring Hanks bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will be just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's going to stop you. But understand that you don't know who you or we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ede. You don't, I don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. Ede, Ede I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. Heh. <laughs> I can't move, guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea how to even think about it. any of this. It's just horror? That's not a word that you get to use too often. That's all I've got left, like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like... I lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which is what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember, like, picture... And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... What the fuck? Mash the C button! Oh shit! Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May, say something. <laughs> May. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not going to suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah. I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. That was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air is coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. 
It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We are in a mine. Right. Angus is the man. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in one of those. I had one foot of water. Right. Oh shit! I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be, since not to be angry, got me all defenseless and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time, and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want it not to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. If you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You all sleepy at walkie there for a second. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. I can here for a bit, if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's a light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Brochure. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. We'll get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah, I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? You know, like when your body is like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you. Those. Oh, okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. 
Okay. Climbing out of here. We are climbing out of here. Oof. This place, huh? Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah. Is that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Jerem, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I could get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jerem. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh, okay. Bye, guys. That guy's a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Jerem is good. Jerem is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense, I guess, but we did cause the deaths of, like, a dozen guys. No, no, no. They are still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, we'd had a cho- Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> Holy shit, Angus! <laughs> Angus is fucking, like, I admire his brutal honesty. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna suffocate to death down there. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we hit, keep walking. Hey guys, uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserve all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. And it's like, it's all like moving so fast, and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy that died to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. 
I don't know if I'm ever gonna understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Jerem, buddy. Jerem, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all of you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about all that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, me. Log off. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. Massive dork. Band practice today. Guys, I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the snail con. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Oh, I even have the axe in the corner. Epilogue. Stars. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to cry today. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up uh, with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I don't even know if I can tell you. I don't know. Why? I'll understand, I promise. I don't even know how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight, we can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. That can flip the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town, close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Longing for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading the same book? Oh, no. This is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here on the ocean's roaring, far away across the den, I hear the Lord to call their children. Bring it in, bring it in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, Fred and kin. I hear the Lord to call their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. 
talking to places. We have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring him in, bring him in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> hey dad no work today i told bob to shove it really no you okay yeah i'll be fine I'm not gonna sugarcoat it i hate my job oh dad why i've mined i've made glass i've done a heap of other stuff but this place they just don't respect you for working they don't Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her, her your time. I wanted I had her to have hobbies. I had enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to the house, try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we... I mean, we do need a union. It's just an easier... Hard to say to get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and in the factory, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Go in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? You know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, hey, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like, they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May, sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May, yeah. You come down and out and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. Oh my god. Wonder if we'll ever get a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like, deluded. That'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask, but I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bleed, that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like, proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. What are you doing out here, by the way? Get an early start on our longest night night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help hunt them up? We'll see. If you're you're a small fry, Dad. Dirty dum dum. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine. I will. May? Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez. Until now, I never considered that. May! Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. Climax was anticlimactic. Hey, May. Sup, Selmers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I've got some mind grain made that you do it. Nah, it's not a mind grain. And those things make me have to pee. That's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. 
Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. It very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Our sl right, slip sliding all up the down hills, Colleen. Have to, have to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not... It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, it's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important. And the most thought out. What the... We're gonna do another water balloon toss? Nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen, too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the state county and sheriff. Uh, so much. Why didn't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. All right, now that that's settled. Oh, what are we doing about the road? Break for food. Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. Ha <laughs> ha. Move out, troops. Snow coming. Gotta be bad this year. Ah, it's Mr. Chasnikov. I should start doing my own laundry. Sometime. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Got any more dust? Ah, uh, stars to look we can look at. Fun more. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine the fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and hustling up to it. For sight and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. The star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them, wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them, and we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the scars. Or name them. But we had these autumns afternoons. And we found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story... Having really happened. Because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. Uh, we got them all, boys. So what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Oh, that does sound super. You must come with me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on the roofs. Oh, come. you come? I will make hot the hot chocolate. But I time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazgov. See you soon, Sargazo. Yes, let's close down all six roads here. 
Holy crap, this is so weird how it's all over now. It's over. Winter, winter come, water freeze. Here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, if that works, please go away. Oh, it's... Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk, talk about your grandfather? Yes. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. They paid it in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Go to the company store for company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered his daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. The night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out to the of the dance. I think he was just a bit drunk. Or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow. Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this is part... Right, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. He Did they catch him? No, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley. Past the A-OK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he... So what happened to, with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got tri- Hopple maker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think, I think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? I don't know, should I tell him? Should I tell Dad? Yes. Sometime. Maybe. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night. One thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for the day. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, right? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I'm gonna go up uh, to the church real quick because I haven't seen the pastor in a while. friendlier now that he's covered in snow. Hey. Well, hey there, May. 
What are you doing? Ah, oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this. Empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... You tried. All we can do. And God would I'll show up. When the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. Need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake in the back. Eh. Rake back in the shed. And behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... Ha <laughs> ha! Run along, May. I'm gonna go in the church one last time real quick. See if there I can find anything else. Just assuming that's uh that was a one time thing. Wanted to be sure real quick. Wish you could skip like a uh, slide of the rails. Oh shit. There's a place I could Wow, this is where all the stuff ended up. Where the spring parade it was so much fun. Till the end Mr. Mallon stamped his tether in Chris Evans. And they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. Neither ropes nor the poor legs. Eggs of Chris Evans could hold them back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in spring. But we still had the Easter basket blessing at the church. They ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those profane pretzels. It's locked. What the hell? This is a fire hazard. Oh my god. Mallard. What have they done to you? Mallard, Peep, uh, Blue Moringo. One of my favorite absolute things when I was a kid. Proudest, ask of the spring floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear, dear Mallard. You were my favorite aunt when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce, forgotten. But I found you, and I know you're here. And it's still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Mallard, you're pregnant. If it's one of those God things, like you just have the baby because God. Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um, not doing anything? 
I'll come back with food. Don't die. Oh, is that why I could get the food? I gotta go steal a pretzel then. Mallard deserves better memorial. Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. What's gonna happen to all of this? Like it's just gonna sit here until someone gets around to throwing it all out. I should like steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. I'm a go steal pretzel. I bet some rap babies love a delicious pretzel. Okay, okay, you're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over, even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's a simple psychology. If you've done this before, you still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. I am the Bandit Queen. <laughs> One pretzel is enough for my tiny rat darlings. my little miracle app. It's time to eat. Ah, come on. Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now? I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. I'm gonna split part time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have the hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all employees. Managers can't do much about it. Computer don't play but favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with the computer. The dancing give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. So gotta do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night where we're all off. I'm off to these days. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. You can pull... Oh, I'll put in requests. That is so relatable. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. 
For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today. And, like, I've learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done it on a day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha <laughs> 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 Plot twist. The janitor's god. Wow. Wait, how did you know my name? That's true. That is true. He had, like, we never told him our name. He never told him... She never told him his, her name. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. I've uh, never seen you around here before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold, my arms out, and let a gust of wind pass over me. Chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah. You don't want to do it for too long. Then you can go and get a, like a coffee or hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cycle oh, of cozy life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was until getting out of here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. Guy. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm going to put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. Blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. Holy crap. A ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened in this town since we got rid of all the snakes in the diner. We got internet. We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago. Because it's eternally in two decades behind here. It takes you three days of tour to move in. Movie. It takes you one day to load GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god. They deliver? I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Although in a small town, if someone f and passed out in a forest, I imagine everyone would be talking about it. Pretty much. So, you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky. Falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There's not one person in God's earth that doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your eggs. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco book. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region. Pretty sure. Maybe this is a pizza place. Wanna try a pizza taco? Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try it all out. Let us taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. Aw, his friend's not here anymore. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? No. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. A bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you Smelters fan? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Go Smelters? Go Smelters? Go Smelters. That's sweet. Mm. 
Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah, just seems like relevant. Well, look who's li who's living. Well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Not yet. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah, let's go to band practice. Let's get this show done. Let's get this going. Oh my god, it had to end on this. God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get keys to the back door? Fred got one and made we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear on how both of them still have jobs. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Do you, do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change and meet new people and become new people, I think Angus has got to find, and he's got more options. Jeez, you've thought this out before you came back. They were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I'm a good, really. I feel like right now I could convince myself it was fine or completely shattered, just like stuck in neutral, you? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. Or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Yep. I don't know. I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And then there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. It seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Uh, failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. I mean, you definitely do. You don't, you don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there right out of the sight following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm doing free study courses online. And I'm a new member of the Young Socialists. I, to I told you... Socialist. Socialism. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. They each according to their ability. Well, on the right side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. Ah, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back eh, some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion killing the new owners makes you want to either give up or try harder or get really upset and take a nap yeah naps fix everything or like drop an elevator on them that works too I guess so how good is your car good how like can it drive real far May, do you know anything about what we should do like a road trip to where? Out west, it gets all flat. 
that it does. You can go where it's really flat. And they sell barbecue. I think barbecue itself. Not all of it. It's everywhere. B B Q. All different kinds of wet. I could. I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. This, that is actually kind of a gift. No, I'm saying that I, hey, no, I'm just saying I heard her mention, like, that she was part of a socialist group thing. God damn this door. I think God already has. There they are. Hey, guys. What's up, nerds? It's, it is you who are the nerds. How did you get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. I also got run over by a tractor. Haha, <laughs> wow. I mean, he did in real life, too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what, the truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly ever hey, feel normal. It's just given today's, as like current climate, like a lot of people use the term. Okay, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. It's because like in today's like climate right now, a lot of uh, at, at a lot of people who uh, use the term fascist and like punching fascists and stuff, they're usually like, I uh, they're usually like in cohorts with uh, a lot of socialist groups, and honestly, I uh, like that's how I drew the comparison initially, but. That's just an observation. It was just a thing. I don't know. I don't know. This game was made in 2017. When I was in that coma or whatever. Yeah, they were a mistake. I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and shit. Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha, <laughs> finally you admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on, when to let go. Okay, I lost my old train of thought. I had it for a second. Then it was gone. Song of Pieces sounds good, May. Song of Pizza. Yeah. Good enough. That was it. That was, uh, something, I will say. Hey. It was an odd experience, I will say that. Odd, but welcome, I would say.
Like, holy crap, dude. I wanted more cult. I, yeah, I do believe, like, uh, the ending was a little meh, though. It was kind of, a uh, like, I thought it was going to turn into, like, a mental health thing. Since, uh, they mentioned that Greg may be suffering from, uh, bipolar disorder. And, obviously, like, may have some ties to, like, um... I don't know, anxiety or, like, depression for, like, uh, for Bay, for B. I thought it was going to be, like, a, wait, Tib Schaefer was on this project? I thought it was, like, going to be more, like, I don't know, it feels like the cult was a bit of a cop-out. Not to an extent, that's just my personal opinion. Rest in peace, Casey. Rest in peace, Granddad. Rest in peace, Casey. That was really good, though. Overall, I enjoyed it. Alright, so I'm gonna take this time and uh, go on a little break, and when I come back, uh, maybe some Starbound. Uh, who knows? So, be right back, guys. I just realized it's like been over five hours. Um, it's actually been over five, almost five hours, so. So, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end the stream here, actually. Yeah, you're right. It is. It, I'm just gonna leave this on. I, I'll play Starbound after one. I don't know. I thought like this would be going too long. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to pee. That's all I know.